to another Explore Scotland adventure. Today we are in the very wet and windy St Andrews and we're off to do some historical explorations. Cathedral adventure, you'll certainly enjoy this one because we have just arrived at the oldest medieval cathedral in the whole of Scotland, St Andrew's Cathedral. Let's go and explore it. Now one thing that always blows me away when I visit old cathedrals and churches is the intricacy and detail that is displayed in the masonry work and at St Andrew's Cathedral there is plenty of old gravestones just full of characters, figures and interesting masonry work to be discovered. The amount of time and effort and thought that must have gone into some of these gravestones is just truly mesmerising to think about and to be able to explore them and look at them and just admire them in this preserved place is just an incredible experience and it really makes your imagination run wild. Is the exciting bit? It's time to go up the tower. on a beautiful sunny day looking out over the sea and over the town of St Andrews. As I'm sure many will be aware St Andrews is also the home of golf so it's not surprising that there's some interesting gravestones within the cathedral grounds dedicated to some of St Andrews most well-known and notorious golf players from back in the day. St Andrew's Cathedral onto St Andrew's Castle which doesn't look like much on the outside but there is some very very interesting and unique things to explore underground here and I can't wait to show you them. close this castle is to the sea. Because of its position with the ocean it meant that they could get supplies back in the day from basically all over the country. People would row in on rowing boats with supplies of all sorts which is pretty amazing. They could even get wine from France and everything. I'm off now down to the Bottle Dungeon which was apparently one of the most notorious prisons in the whole of Scotland back in the day.
and I'm off down to the mine and the counter mine. Dug out during a big siege here many, many years ago. How insane is this, right? So St Andrew's Castle, as I said earlier, does not look like much from the outside, but underground you've got this mine and counter mine that you've got to pretty much crawl to get into. But once you're in here, you're in this underground cavern that was used during the siege, and it is mental, and it's like, it's just, it's amazing to think that we're allowed in here and we're allowed to explore it, because it's, you know, it's one of these places that you just normally don't get access to, and if you come to St Andrew's Castle, the view under here is just exceptional. Like, how exciting is this? Something completely different to do. Something that you don't get to do in many places. And it's just amazing. That was so cool. Amazing.